Imhotep. Namaste. Welcome to Tarot TV. Now I'm going to be working on a special series known as the Tarot in Egypt or the Tarot in Kemet for those of you who studied the Metuneter without any disrespect. Egypt's original name was Kemet. What I have behind me has everything to do with Tarot, although you might be wondering what, what does this have to do with Tarot. This isn't just an ordinary hieroglyph, you know. This represents something called the Bembine Table of Isis, discovered in 1527 by Pierto Bembo, who was an Italian cardinal. He and his boys hijacked this table back to Italy, where it's now staying in Turin in Italy, in the museum in Turin. Now this table shows us the origins of Egyptian tarot. Now I did an entire series on the Sumerian origins and the Mesopotamian Mesopotamian origins of the tarot cards in regards to the Tarot de Marseille. The Tarot de Marseille was the leading deck of the 16, 17, and 1800s. Now, between the 1400s, when the tarot cards were first coming out, the Italians got them, primarily because of this table known as the Bembine Table of Isis. It was said that Nefertiri actually had this table molded. Um, centuries ago before the Romans came and hijacked it and then later on when the Christians took control of the Holy Roman Empire they got their hands on it naturally so a man named Bembo who was a cardinal was also a writer and an occultist go through many publications about the archetypes of the Egyptian gods then a man named Attila hold on created this deck called the Book of Thoth this was the first time that credit was given to the Egyptians for creating the tower deck. Now, the Bembine table shows you depictions. This is a more colored version of it, as you can see. It shows you depictions of the gods in their entirety, scenes of the underworld, essentially the fool's journey. Now, there was an occultist known as Zayn who lived during the 18th and 19th century, and he put together a society known as the Brotherhood of Light. They created their own tarot deck based on ancient Egyptian depictions. Now, I'm going to use the Rider Waite tarot deck because that's the one I'm really familiar with. And I'm going to show you which Egyptian gods and or goddesses or comedic gods and goddesses live within the cards. Check out this deck. It's amazing. Hold on before I get there. It has Thoth in the background. So I'm going to show you how like the Rider Waite deck shows Horus and Ra and Osiris and which cards hold those great gods. Look at these cards. Oh my God, they're so pretty. See, there you go. So you'll see depictions. So if it wasn't for Bembo, he wouldn't have passed on the revelation to Attila, who would have not passed it on to Zane, who would have not passed it on to Arthur Edward Waite or Oswald Wirth, French and American occultists. And then later on to Thoth, so basically, if it wasn't for the Egyptians and the Sumerians, we wouldn't have the tarot cards today. Sure, they have an Italian name behind it or a Hebrew name, Torah, Torah meaning secrets or wisdom, right? Or tarot meaning gold guild foil, right? Basically, those are just the names that were adopted later on, but the real credit must go to the Sumerians and the Egyptians. So prepare for the next series on tarot. I'm excited. It's going to be Tarot and the Comedic Gods. So stay tuned. I'm going to be doing them every day moving forward until we complete the 22. Thank you so much for listening. Look into the Bembine Table of Isis. Peace, love, and blessings. Imhotep, which means the architect in me, reveres the architect in you.